you know Miller? Snake's right-hand man? Apparently has got at least one serious weakness. He is an insatiable womanizer. He does not bother me, most likely because he considers teenagers off-limits. But he has hit on every single one of the few female soldiers here at Mother Base. They ought to be telling him where to stick it, but end up falling for it so easily. I think some of it stems from the fact that he is actually not that bad looking. Anyway, today, that nasty habit got him in trouble. He and Snake got into one of their rare fights, and I was there to see it. They burst out of the showers completely naked, trading punches. I am no child. The sight of a naked man does not make me blush. But this was something else. Maybe this'll teach you, Snake yelled as he slammed his fists into Miller's chest. I heard later that apparently he had been two-timing someone, and that same someone had gone to Snake with her troubles. As I see it, it is her own fault for letting herself be deceived like that. If she is too dumb to see through Miller's lies, then she got what she deserved. But this was not the first time it had happened, or the second. And Snake read Miller the riot act. Miller argued back, and what began as a shouting match turned into a fist fight. You son of a bitch, Miller yelled as he swung. Not bad, said Snake, smiling, but not good enough. And then he was back on the offensive. They had already been at it pretty hard in the showers, and their bodies were covered with bruises. Both of these men had been trained for war, their bodies deadly weapons. They were each bleeding from a dozen places. All this from a fist fight. Even so, it was far less gruesome than if they had given it their all. It was obvious that one of them would be dead were they fighting for real. Miller took another swing, yelling, Try this then! Snake parried, then responded in kind. But I could tell he was not aiming for anything vital. You are one tough bastard, boss, Miller muttered. A smile crept across his face as he caught his breath. And then they went right on fighting. Blood and sweat flew off their glistening bodies. He was combat without hatred or hostile intent. I had never seen violence like this before. And yet, it was more than just a friendly tussle. They were utilizing every technique they knew. It was not a sporting match. They were not playing by the rules. How could they keep this up? At last, the two men tired themselves out, and the bizarre scene came to an end. They looked at each other's battered bodies, and then burst out laughing, embracing and congratulating each other on a good fight. It all seemed so idiotic. I still cannot fathom such behavior. But somehow, I got the sense that for all his womanizing, Miller really only trusted one person, and that was Snake. There was no way I could ever come between the two of them. And at that thought, I began to feel as if I had lost.